it seems to me that China is probably in a better position to deal with modernity and development than most countries in the West. And that is because modernity and development in most countries in the West has involved a breakdown of society and a kind of polarization and atomization of individuals where the sense of community is being increasingly lost. And I think you can see that certainly even more in the United States. Now, it seems to me that China, I mean, partly because of its cultural heritage in Confucianism and to some extent Buddhism, and all the sort of ethical systems which have formed China over thousands of years, uh, that this is a tradition which obviously, like all powerful traditions, still exists in China. And also, to some extent, the Chinese Communist Party, which seeks, you know, a, a sort of harmony in society to, 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 to get people to work together, you know. I mean, that's the essence of a kind of socialism or communism. That kind of um, tr both the tradition of Chinese culture and also the tradition of socialism or communism, the prospects, I think, for coping with the, some of the problems we've been talking about, you know, climate change, the uh, AI, the, the ambivalence of, of, uh, of modernization and development, of coping with these problems is much more promising when politics is in control and not determined by economics.